Hello everyone, welcome to our next lesson. Okay, today we talk about angles in a standard position. Okay, angle is in a standard position. If in the xy plane, we let the vertex be on the origin. So here is the origin. Now the initial side represented by this blue ray here. If we try to move this one clockwise or counterclockwise, then we can be able to form this two. So how did it happen? If you move this initial sign counterclockwise, then you are creating an angle here. You have an angle. But if you try to move again from its initial sign to the positive x-axis, you're moving it this way. You're moving it counterclockwise. Uh, you are creating another angle, phi. But that is considered to be a negative angle. Okay. Now, if you rotate and you go back to your initial side a while ago, then you are creating one complete revolution, and that is already 360 degrees 2 pi. Because when you convert 360 degrees in region, and that is 2 pi regions. Okay. And here we have four graphs. We observe the first graph. You notice that the movement is counterclockwise. Okay, it started from positive x-axis, so that is considered to be angle in standard position. Next, you see that uh, this one started from positive x-axis. It moves okay clockwise, so it will provide you a negative angle. What about in letter C? It moves okay counterclockwise so still that is in standard position and last is counterclockwise rotation that provides us positive angle and that is considered angle in standard position still because we started from positive x-axis okay what about if you try to illustrate angle in standard position we start from 30 degrees we know that that is a positive angle and since that is a positive angle, our rotation must be counterclockwise, right? We also know that one complete revolution is 360 degrees. Now we have four quarters here. It is then understood that this is 90 degrees. And all of them are 90 degrees because of the idea of perpendicular lines. Now if I create 30 degree angle, then I move counterclockwise because that is positive and I am just approximating it here. So I stop here. Still, I started from positive x-axis to illustrate standard position. So that is 30 degrees in a standard uh, position. And that's how we illustrate it. Okay, so what about if we try to illustrate 240 degrees and that is still a positive angle? We know that the rotation must be counterclockwise. So if this is 90, 90 plus 90 degrees, that's 180 degrees here. So 180 plus another 90 gives us 270 degrees. So meaning we will not move to quadrant 4. So if this is 180 degrees here, this is 180 degrees, we just need to add 60 degrees to form 240 degrees. So we just try to approximate. The rotation is still, still counterclockwise. So this is already 180 degrees. Then let me just approximate 60 degrees here. What is it? Let's say it's here. Then I now create a terminal side. So that illustrates 240 degrees in the standard position because I started from positive x-axis. Okay, next, what about negative 120 degrees? So that is a negative angle. The rotation must be clockwise. So if this is 90 again, I need to add 30 degrees more to form um, that particular angle measurement. So let me do it now. I start from positive x-axis. I stop here. Why did I stop at the same terminal side with 140 degrees? Because both of them, that 240 degrees needs 30 degrees still to form a 270 degree angle, right? However, for negative 120 degrees, this is already 90 degrees. So it needs 30 more angles, uh, measurements, no? to form negative 120 degrees. Remember, 
that is a negative one because the rotation rotation is a uh, negative uh, sorry that is clockwise what about 720 degrees 720 degrees is more than 360 degrees and we know that 360 degrees is already one complete revolution so how many revolutions does 720 degree angle have so we have two revolutions right 360 degrees times two so it means to say i will use red this is already 360 degrees i rotate again one more revolution so this one in red illustrates 720 degree angle measure okay so that is how we illustrate angles in standard position Okay, so how do we illustrate 2 pi over 3 and that is in radian measure? We need to convert that in degree measure for us to understand no? where we will place it. And that is equal to 120 degrees. Remember, we just converted it. And after that, we know that that is a positive angle. Even this one is positive and this is also positive. Our rotation, therefore, must be counterclockwise. And remember again, this is 90 degrees. So we just need 30, right? 30 more angles. Uh, angle measures here so 90 we just approximated it here so we stand stuck here and that is the terminal side so that is how we illustrate a 120 degree angle and that is 2 pi over 3 as well what about this negative 7 pi over 3 that is a negative angle meaning to say our rotation must be clockwise and that must be clear okay now we need to convert that into degree measurements and that is equal to negative 420 degrees okay so in that case we are moving or rotating um clockwise so we need to have one complete revolution and that is 360 and we just need 60 more measures or degrees to complete negative 420 degrees remember again that negative sign will just tell you the rotation is clockwise okay so that is how we illustrate these two regions you just need to convert them into degrees meantime for you to realize uh, the rotation as well